What's up everyone, this is Movie and Game Lover 98, and today I'll be doing a Blu-ray review on this Thomas and Friends movie that's going to be 8 years old this September, and it's going to be King of the Railway. Yes, my second favorite Thomas movie of all time, plus it's the first one made by Arc Productions. So yeah, let's get started with this Blu-ray review, and I hope you guys like it, because the reason I'm doing this is because when I did the DVD review back in the summer of 2019, I forgot to mention the history and getting with the plot of the movie. So I'm going to do it in this version. Because yeah. So anyways, yeah, let's get started with the review on this Blu-ray copy of King of the Railway. So yeah, here's what the Blu-ray copy looks like. It's the same thing as the DVD. The history on King of the Railway, I'll mention it here, it was first released onto DVD and Blu-ray on September 17th, 2013. And yeah, and it was even re-released by Universal. Well, I think it was reprinted by Universal in 2016, I think. And then it was even released in that 10 movie birthday collection from last year, which I'm not gonna get that set because I'm fine with this combo pack itself. So yeah, that was the history. Now let's get into the actual review. Reviewing the Blu-ray copy, then we'll explain the plot. So yeah, here's what the Blu-ray copy looks like. It's the same thing as the DVD, except sadly, I didn't get the slipcover with mine. I know it did come with the slipcover if you bought it day one. But anyway, yeah, it just says feature-length movie, but up here it says Blu-ray plus DVD combo pack, and you have the same image of Thomas and Steven and, and the Earl's Castle. And I forgot to mention the King of the Railway, the movie logo. There's a crown in that logo. Anyway, here's the front. Yes, here's the same spine and everything. And, yep, here's the back cover. It's the same thing. But now it just has technical specifications for both the DVD and the Blu-ray discs. And you got a squished in picture of Thomas, Stephen, Millie, and the Earl. And the same Meet New Friends, but on the DVD bear copy, it would just say Meet. But I got rid of the DVD copy because I wanted the Blu-ray copy because this is my favorite movie of all time, if, if you guys didn't know. And yeah, same running time and everything. Anyway, here's the discs. Here's the DVD disc, which is the same as in the single disc DVD. And oddly enough, this is the Blu-ray poster art taken from the back portion of the DVD. So I guess they didn't want to put it on the the Blu-ray disc, use this image, and then just put the Blu-ray disc logo, because I guess there wasn't enough room. But this is nice, because they took the images from two different portions of the cover on di different discs. Anyway, here's an insert that was not in my DVD copy, the magazine subscription. And the pamphlet is the same. I'll just look at it, but it's the same. It's a skinnier one, because it's a Blu-ray overall. Yeah, because you know Blu-rays have skinnier cases than plain old DVD cases, but at least they're nice and easy to hold, because you know, me, I'm about to be 23 years old, I can still hold a Blu-ray case in 2021. Well, yeah, when I turn 23 years old, eventually. So anyways, yeah. King of the Railway is a great movie, and let's get in with the plot. It's a very busy day on the island of Sodor, and an old friend of Sir Topham Hatt called the Earl of Sodor also known as Sir Robert Noramy, has come back and he wants to restore the castle that belonged to King Godred. And he hires three engines, Thomas, Percy, and James, to do the work. And while on their journey, they meet some new friends, Stephen, Connor, Caitlin, and Millie. And they work as hard as they can to restore Ulfstead Castle in time for the big celebration. But then trouble strikes as Stephen goes missing. And it's up to Thomas, Percy, James, and their friends to find him in time for the Earl's big surprise. So yeah, that's the plot of King of the Railway because I didn't mention it in the DV review. So what do I think of King of the Railway? Still holds up to this day and it's still one of the best Thomas movies. But it's my second favorite Thomas movie, as you all know, because The Great Discovery is my all-time favorite Thomas movie. So anyways, yeah. I say King of the Railway is worth watching. If, if you guys haven't seen King of the Railway, I say give it a watch. So anyways, yeah. That's going to be it for this 
Blu-ray review, everyone, on King of the Railway because I forgot to mention the history and the plot of the movie, but I'm mentioning it here. And to everyone who watched it, be sure to give a good comment. So anyways, yeah. That's going to be it for this Blu-ray review, everyone, on King of the Railway because I never got to review a Thomas movie I did before because I'm doing this again because I forgot to mention the plot and the history of this movie when it came out originally. So anyways, yeah. That's going to be it for this Blu-ray re review, everyone, on King of the Railway. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more videos coming possibly soon. And hopefully they'll have a lot of things to show.